please note that not every prophetic message that I share on this channel is meant for everybody. So it's important that you have a relationship with the Holy Spirit and take it back to him and ask him to give you the confirmation that you need before you run with the message. And for some of you, I know that this is going to be a confirming message because the Lord has already been speaking to you about this. And if that's the case and you have any questions, please make sure to take all those questions back to him because he will have the answers for you. All right. So this is going to be an encouraging message. I know that um, somebody needs to hear this today. And I'm just so thankful to the Lord for giving me this message. Um, I always make sure that when I get on here, I'm not just saying what I think I believe God wants me to say. I really um, spend time just seeking him. And very often I can understand a dream because if you're new, you won't know this, but I share prophetic messages based on dreams. I've been a dreamer since for as long as I can remember. So sometimes I can understand a dream in its fullness and the Holy Spirit is not releasing me to share it. So um, know that I don't come here carelessly, okay? So I know that this is going to be encouraging for somebody. So what the Lord was showing me through um, these dreams and just ministering to me as well um, in quiet time, you know, the Lord will drop certain things that I wasn't even looking for and they will just come through. Um, and that's how I know it's Him because how, <laughs> okay? I don't make up these things. So um, He was just showing me that um, there are some of you who know that you, you're in your spring season, right? Winter's gone and you're, you're already in the spring. Things are blossoming or at least they're supposed to be blossoming. You're not seeing the the blooming that's happening but it actually is happening and the Lord wants you to know. He wants to confirm to you today that you are in that season that you are going to begin to see things blossoming um, and it's going to be so um, unlike what you would expect um, at least the way that things are going to happen is going to be unlike what you would think or what you would expect because God just has a different way of doing things we just can never really quite fathom um, his thoughts and his ways right so what he was showing me is that some of you are seeing things being kind of um, attacked in your life. Something's being taken away. Some things are being blocked. And you're questioning like, God, I thought that, you know, I was past that. I thought, you know, I had prayed. I thought that I'd done the spiritual warfare. You know, a lot of you have been in tune with the Lord in terms of when to do spiritual warfare and when to put your weapons down because war is not supposed to last forever in a day. So you don't have to be in spiritual warfare every single day. There are times and seasons for that. And you understand that and you have come out of that place. You've dealt with the witchcraft that was done against you and you just wondering, God, what's happening? Why am I still seeing more attacks or different types of attacks? You know, just when I deal with one area, there's something else that's happening on this other side. What the Lord is going to do is he is going to replace those things that have been stolen in this time, right? In, as you're seeing these attacks, as you're seeing stuff being blocked or um, stolen from you, the Lord is going to unblock things. He's going to replace things. He's going to restore. And it's going to be from the most unexpected sources. It is going to bless you so much. And you will understand that you truly are in your season of plenty where you are, you know, able to go and enjoy the harvest. Um, you're in that season where God truly is doing all the things that he said he's going to do. And you're going to see these things happen one after another for some of you. For some of you, it may be a different process. But the point is, don't be perturbed by the negative things that you see happening. Don't be moved and worried and stressed about the attacks that you see coming or that you see happening around you because God is going to restore you. He's going to restore you in ways that you never expected. You know, I've actually seen that happen in my life a couple of times in these last, and just this last week alone. Um, I've been amazed at <laughs> how I've seen things like being destroyed and falling apart and like stolen. And then all of a sudden it's like, bam, 
restored bam but just in ways that were just mind-blowing to me so God is going to be doing that for you and he just wants you to not lose heart um, even if you're distressed even if you are you know really panicking and just asking God like why what is actually going on what am I missing his grace is still sufficient for that. Like he's still covering you with his grace. And through the process of him restoring all these things, through him uh, showing up for you in a way that you've never seen before, he's going to build your faith. He's going to build your trust in him. And he's allowing these things to be stolen, to be attacked so that you can see that it's a different season. He wants you to see clearly that you're in a different time now, that you are not in that time where you're seeing things being taken, stolen, blocked, and you have to wait on the Lord and you have to seek him and and, and be dealing with the warfare, dealing with the witchcraft, cleaning up um, your spiritual life in a sense. No, now God wants you to see that you are in a different time, in a different season. In a previous video, I had shared um, Ecclesiastes chapter 3, I think it is. Guys, please forgive me. My referencing of the Bible is not always the best in terms of like the, the chapter and the book. But I think it's Ecclesiastes 3 where it talks about for everything there is a time, you know, and you are going to see how the times have changed. Um, and the Lord is teaching you how to read the seasons, how to read the times that you're in, because you are seasons change obviously and he's teaching you to understand and read the signs to know that when you are in this time of blossoming blooming your spring season you are going to see the plenty you're going to see things um you know really manifest for you and all the good stuff coming your way um but when winter seasons come you won't be as distressed as you used to be because you understand it's winter and I'm I'm gonna roll with it, you know. There's certain things that I need to do. You you've learned how to deal with those difficult seasons and God is teaching you how to deal with the good seasons as well. Now he's teaching you to do that. And like I said, he's allowing the attacks so that you can understand what season you're in and also understand that you are going to be taught how to navigate the season um, so that you are actually even prepared for winter seasons. Um, it's, it's just so beautiful the way the Lord has just opened my eyes to, to the whole seasonal thing. And um, But I'm just excited. I'm just excited for the restoration that you guys are going to experience. Um, and it's going to be mind-blowing. Like I said, you're going to be so in awe that you can't even truly express excitement in the human way. Like it's, it's going to be like, uh, I can't even believe what's happening, you know. Um, so the Lord wants you to know that he's doing this. And he gave me um, Isaiah 55 verse 8 and 9 uh, for today's scripture. I'm going to read it quickly. It says, uh, I said 8 and 9, hey, yes. It says, my thoughts are nothing like your thoughts says the Lord, and my ways are far beyond anything you could imagine. For just as the heavens are higher than the earth, so my ways are higher than your ways, and my thoughts higher than your thoughts. You cannot even fathom what God is going to do. And even just as you're experiencing the attacks, it's God's ways. It's his thoughts it's it's this thing that you're not going to understand until you see God bring restoration he's teaching you his ways his he is teaching you his thoughts he wants you to gain a deeper understanding of his character of how he operates and so he's showing you by allowing you to experience the loss the blockages and then boom him just restoring and so it helps you understand what season you're in, like I said earlier. So that is today's message. And I really pray that it's blessed you if it's for you. Um, it truly really blessed me. And I was really excited to come on here and share this message because I know that you need to hear this. So yeah, I will see you all in the next video. I really hope me beating my Bible isn't making noise on the mic, but I'll see you guys in the next video. Always remember that God is a good father. He loves you so much because you, my friends, are so deeply special to him.